Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making three recipes for one delicious and simple meal. We'll be making a potato and bell pepper salad, pork tenderloin wrapped in fresh mint leaves and prosciutto, as well as its refreshing yogurt dip. Let's start with the salad. I would like to welcome on stage my key ingredients. You will need baby potatoes, bell peppers, gala apples, prosciutto, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, one lemon, fresh mint leaves, scallions, salt and pepper. Cut your baby potatoes in half. Place them in a pot and boil until cooked. They should be soft but not mushy. As soon as they are cooked, place the potatoes in ice cold water to stop them from cooking and refrigerate until cold. Next, you'll want to cut your bell peppers into equally sized cubes. Mince the scallions and add them to the salad. Slice the prosciutto lengthwise and then widthwise and add them to the salad. Cut your apples in equally sized cubes and add half of a lemon's juice to keep them from browning. <laughs> Reserve for later. For the vinaigrette, whip together the olive oil, the vinegar, half of a lemon's juice, some salt, and pepper.
salad bowl, add the cooled potatoes, the chopped mint leaves, the apples, and the vinaigrette. Toss all the ingredients together. Refrigerate until ready to serve. For the mint and prosciutto wrapped pork, you will need pork tenderloin, Dijon mustard, pepper, fresh mint leaves, prosciutto, remove any excess fat off the tenderloin and cut it in half widthwise. This will make later's manipulations easier. Brush the pork with Dijon mustard and sprinkle with pepper. Cover the tenderloin halves in mint leaves. Turn the tenderloins around and repeat the first steps. Wrap the pork with the prosciutto slices. Four slices per half of tenderloin. Seize the meat at high heat before popping into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Once cooked, remove the pork from the fry pan and cover loosely with foil to keep the moisture inside the meat. Remove foil only when ready to serve. For the scallion and Greek yogurt dip, you'll need plain Greek yogurt, scallions, and vegetable salt. I couldn't find any vegetable salt at my store, so I used this new product that ended up adding a little something special to my dip. Pepper. In a small bowl, add all the ingredients and mix with a fork until well combined.
Refrigerate until ready to serve. Mm -hmm. I hope you like these quick and easy recipes. Don't forget to like and comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest recipes. See you next week!